Hi, today we're going to be doing an in-depth walkthrough of the 2023 Carrera Trekseeker 3 19 foot 6. At the front of the A-frame we have the DO35 Cruise Master coupling, inclusive of the handbrake. Just beyond that we have a bungee cord for your brake safe. For the wiring requirements we have a 12 pin plug, that's your cabling for the reverse camera and the van actually includes the monitor to have fitted to your vehicle upon purchase. Grey Anderson plug, this is for the optional DC to DC charger that's fitted to this particular van and allows you to charge your batteries while towing. And then you have a red Anderson here which powers your Alco electronic stability control. Sidewinder jockey wheel, deflector stone guard shield, two nine kilo gas bottles, and then another option that's fitted to this particular van is the two jerry can holders besides either gas bottle. At the front of the van you have an LED spotlight, which is visible there, two grab handles, and a large checker plate toolbox with dual slides, which we'll open in a moment. At the moment, housed in the larger slide on the awning side is the jack, the wheel brace, the pin for the Cruise Master DO35 coupling, awning rod, and leg winder. Now I've just closed the toolbox and pushed the slide back in on the awning side and now we can see a tap on the A-frame. In the tunnel boot on the awning side of the caravan is a Dometic slide out kitchen. So it has three gas burners, there's a chopping board there, sink with hot and cold water. Just above the kitchen is an LED light which you can turn off and on from the interior of the van. And the unique thing about the slide out kitchen is the fact that it's in a gal box in the front tunnel boot, which allows you to slide the kitchen back in after cooking and have no smell emit into the van because it's fully sealed. Now just below the slide out kitchen is your two barbecue bayonets and then there's an outlet for hot and cold water which you would go and connect your slide out kitchen up to upon arrival at your campsite. Push this back in, lock it into place and tuck the kitchen away. A large awning is also on this side. This is an Aussie Traveller awning with a support cradle in the centre. All of the windows are from Dometic. They're a dual glazed window with an aluminium black frame. Just below the awning you can see two LED awning lights. And then over here we have a 10 amp outlet. There's an antenna point to bring your TV that's currently inside outside and hook into the, the aerial 12 volt plug and two USB ports along with a picnic table and two external speakers, which you can currently see. The wheels and tires are supplied by Primal Wheels. And we currently have 16 inch Maverick gloss black wheels fitted to this van with a radial mud terrain tire. That's a 265. The chassis is supplied by Roadrunner Chassis. And this is their Oz Tracker full off-road independent suspension, which features a dual shock, heavy duty coil and control arm per wheel. Now the Roadrunner chassis has a 6 inch A-frame and a 6 inch chassis and the great thing about the Roadrunner chassis are that they run the A-frame all the way to the front axle of the caravan. Also fitted to the caravan is four 12 inch brakes. Just below the entry door is a fold out step and then you have a Malenko entry door with an LED grab handle on the left hand side. I've just now opened up the entry door and separated the outer door from the fly screen. And the great thing about the Malenko door is the security stainless steel mesh that's fitted. Now we're at the rear of the caravan and at the top is an LED spotlight. Just below it is the reverse camera that we've referred to earlier. Over here on the left is an external shower with hot and cold water. The spare wheel is fitted to the three neck bumper bar at the rear. You have a license plate bracket on the right hand side also. Now we are over on the driver's side of the caravan and at the very top it's a little bit hard to see but you can see the the beginning of the outline of the solar panel. The caravan has two 210 watt panels so 420 watts worth of solar in total. At the rear of the van there is a swift 28 litre hot water unit and this is the backing plate for it. Um, this is operable off gas or 240 volt electricity. Just beyond that, there is the uh, hatch for the cassette toilet. So the van has a Dometic cassette toilet. When we go inside in a moment, we'll have a look at that. There's a 15 amp inlet just over here. 
There's also a driver's side LED mounted above the window over here. Water tank filler on the right. The mains pressure inlet for the caravan is mounted onto the chassis rail on the side of the van over here. And there's also quick fill. So if you flick that valve just on the right hand side of the inlet, it'll actually start filling the two fresh water tanks in front of the axles. Just beyond that is a 100 litre grey water tank. Now, all the water tanks are covered in checker plate protection and all of the PVC piping under the van is covered in corrugated plastic. And those are the 210 litre fresh water tanks covered with checker plate protection. The 220 amp hour iTech lithium batteries are mounted in this external battery box on the chassis rail on the driver's side of the van. That's the outlet for the optional Truma gas ducted heater. And now we'll open up this hatch in a moment. I've just opened up the tunnel boot of the caravan. Because the van has the slide out kitchen on the other side, you get a partition in the center. The brake safe unit is over here on the right. And then this van's been optioned up with the 2000 watt Voltec inverter. That's positioned here on the wall of the tunnel boot also with an LED just above it. On the other side of the toolbox, as mentioned earlier, is another slide out. Okay, now we're inside the 19 foot six Trek Seeker 3. So we'll do a little bit of a walk through of the componentry in here also. So beginning at the top, there's a Sirocco fan fitted. There's also in front of that, a Dometic wind up hatch with an LED built into it. There's two overhead cupboards over the island bed. There's a bed head, map reading light. That's your control for the Truman gas ducted heater, which is an option that's fitted to this particular van. All of the map reading lights have USB ports fitted to them. There's a side entry parlement on both sides of the island bed with a double power point in there. On the bedside table, there is also a USB port and a wireless charger fitted. Just above the bedside table is a large wardrobe with hanging space. All of these Dometic windows have a three click setting. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll unlatch the window. Push it open, wait for the click. And that's setting number one. It goes all the way up to setting number three. And then you can go and elect to pull your fly screen down or pull your blind up. All of the island bed mattresses are Australian made. And the great thing about this mattress is there's a pillow top built into the mattress on the top and the bottom. So you can actually go and rotate this mattress over in the future. Also supplied with the mattress is a bolster which is removable. As mentioned previously, this caravan has been opted up with a Truma gas ducted heater. And as you can see, it's situated beneath the island bed. This particular model has been optioned up with the Dometic dust reduction system, which you can see here. And it's obviously visible on the outside. You may have seen it when we were walking around the exterior earlier, but if I've pulled down the flap, you can actually see the interchangeable filter sitting in the dust reduction system. There's a circuit breaker for the caravan there in the corner, and this van has been optioned up with a 2000 watt Voltec inverter. So the on button being the remote is situated there. Now over on the adjustable TV bracket is a smart TV, which has an inbuilt DVD player also. Just to the right of that is your wind up uh, rooftop TV antenna. And then there's a smoke detector just beyond that also. If I shift the TV out of the way, the on and off button for the booster is there along with the antenna point and 12 volt. Due to the van being fitted with a 2000 watt inverter, there's a dedicated inverter power point over here on the left. And then the one on the right is just for your 15 amp inlet on the side of the van if you were connected to mains power. Also fitted to the van is a rooftop reverse cycle air conditioner. And this is the Dometic Ibis 4. Now for the kitchen area. So there's a, a sink here with a three-way flick mixer. So hot and cold water is controllable from up here from your first spout. And then from the second spout, which is a little bit hard to see, it's controllable over here for your filtered water. Above the kitchen is some overhead cupboards. There's an LED. Then there is another LED built into the range hood. And this has a two fan speed. It has a five minute timer and built into it also. So you can press the button, leave the van and then it'll shut off after five minutes. Recess bench top with a swift 
cooktop grill and oven. So 240 volt hot plate in the top left hand corner. The other three burners are gas. Then you have a gas griller beneath it and then a gas oven. These are great, same brand as the hot water unit made in Australia as well. Just beyond the cooktop grill and oven is a slide out pantry. To the left of the slide out pantry is an entry handle, a couple of magazine pouches on the wall, and then one above the entry door. As a standard, the caravan includes a BM Pro battery management system, and this is the Trek 3 display panel that's included also. Now we're back over near the island bed, and we've just got a bit of a shot here of the cafe dinette seating area. So there's a trifold table in the center with some storage below. Down here in the corner is a carbon monoxide detector, which is in good close proximity to your cooktop grill and oven. This van's been optioned up with a couple of pot drawers beneath the seating area, which is always a good idea to make great use of that additional space under there. There's a kick up footrest on each of the seats. Now I've just gone and pulled up one of the kick up footrests and pulled the table all the way out. So that's what the table looks like set up. There's a double power point over there at the end, along with a window above. And then there's some overhead cupboards. In this overhead cupboard, because the van's been optioned up with a 2000 watt inverter, there's a single power point up there to go and pull your microwave power point out of the 240 volt and operate it off the inverter. All of the overhead cupboards have a piano hinge and then dual gas strut. Linked up to that Trek 3 panel that we just went through earlier is the battery management system from BM Pro. This is a lithium compatible system. Obviously we have two lithiums on board as standard. Over on the left is the hot water unit switch for 240 volt electricity. And then there's also another switch over there for gas. We've got a main switch for your battery management system. And then there's a pump bypass switch in here also. Below that is a stereo, which obviously controls the two interior speakers, along with the two exterior speakers also. Just above the entry is a push-up hatch from Dometic. Below that on the left-hand side is an NCE microwave. And then we have the 188 litre compressor fridge from Dometic. So I've just gone and powered the fridge on and it's a double door freezer at the top and then the fridge is down below. This is a two-way fridge. So because we're not plugged up to 240 volt at the moment, the fridge is actually operating off the 220 amp hour lithiums on board. And you can see that from the battery symbol here on the fridge. Now for the ensuite. So at the beginning, there's a sliding door, which is currently latched down. There's a large mirror, flick mixer and sink, double power point, and there's a couple switches over here on the right hand side. Below the mirror, and I've just opened up both doors now, is a top loader three and a half kilo washing machine. On the left hand side of the ensuite is the Dometic ceramic bowl soft closed lid cassette toilet. There's a toilet roll holder on the left over there, an area for your towels, large linen press above that, window, towel rail hatch slash fan. This actually extracts air and brings air in. So it's a two-way fan. Now on the other side of the ensuite is your shower. So I'll just go and open it up. At the top, we have another hatch slash fan, LED. Then you've got your flip mixer and a one-piece fiberglass shower. One of the other options fitted to this particular van is the interior black pack. So it includes the handles, the map reading lights, the Sirocco fan goes black, the speakers go black, the surrounds on the LED lights on the roof go black, flick mixer and sink are black, flick mixer and sink here in the ensuite, the frame around the shower, the shower door screen frame goes black, as well as the flick mixer in the shower. Okay, thank you very much for watching this walkthrough of the 2023 Carrera Trek Seeker 3 19 foot 6. If you have any further questions or you would like to book an inspection, we'll put our contact details in the description of this video. Please give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.